mainly irrelevant, a geek podcast that talks about stuff that is mainly irrelevant. We are your co-hosts, Vince, Alvin, and Jeremy. Jeremy. For our first episode, yep. what are we going to talk about, gents? We're games for gaming. this holiday season. Yep. Games for the holiday season. Yep. All right. So, what have you been playing? I've been playing Pokemon Let's Go. I don't have any. Yes, it's all you. It's How all you, man. It's all you, man. For what? Actually, for what? Yeah, I, know, I, know, right? yeah. I actually, I actually quite like it. Uh, Compared to the older generations, like the first generation. I mean, I think. What are you comparing it to? Like, you're, yeah. are you comparing it to like Pokemon, Pokemon Go? Go? Or <laughs> yeah, well, I, I never really got into Pokemon Go. To be honest, okay. I know you guys like were a little, little bit more yeah. uh, into to, into Pokemon Go, but I guess I'm comparing it with like the I'm like kind of like the original kind of. Um, but it's still quite different from the original fan. one, though, right? Like, mm. it's okay. I think like, they're like, it's similar like, enough. You don't, you don't need to, to fight Pokemon to catch them, right? No, you don't. Like you just throw. You just catch yeah, yeah, So yeah, that's yeah. like Pokemon Go. You just yeah, throw yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and actually, now that I've played through it, I think it's a better system because you end up grinding a lot, like, or you used to end up grinding a lot, and to be able to catch something, you have to get it down to like yeah. you know when they're in the red, and then you throw it, and then they sometimes end up like escaping. Yeah. So that's. But does that take kind away from how rewarding <coughs> it is when you actually get to catch your Pokemon, though? I mean, I'm not as big on the catching, like myself. Right. Um, so you don't like to collect Pokemon? I, I think it's, I mean, it's cool. But mm -hmm. like every time you catch a Pokemon, it increases the experience, like the XP of, of all your Pokemon in your party. Uh, so uh, that is like a good incentive for you to catch. Right. But then I've always really gotten a kick out of fighting and, and mm -hmm. like the battles and stuff like that. But before the older generations, you have to kind of like swap your monster, your Pokemon's in yeah. for it to gain XP, sure, right? Sure. Yeah. 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 And no. that, so that's not there anymore. So, oh, actually, because it's just you just forget you just it. catch and then you just was it only the the Pokemon that part uh, participated? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. No, not even the ones on the bench. Not, not, not even XP. Yeah. So basically, what what you did was like like let's say I had uh, a Charizard or yeah. Charmander at the start, and then I I, I caught like. Uh, Whatever Caterpie, and I wanted to level them up, right? So I have, to, I have to switch Caterpie into the like the main position. So whenever I yeah, see a yeah, Pokemon, yeah. it'll pop up first, and then I switch back to yeah. Charizard or Charmander, yeah. and then fight. So this time, all the bench Pokemon also get like minor uh, okay. XP upgrades as well. Okay. Um, so that's <coughs> okay, I, I guess. And one of the major changes as well, I don't know if you guys remember like the HMs as, as yeah. opposed to like the TMs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When you have the HMs that like uh, take up like a permanent slot in, in one of the Pokemon's like attack, Skills, yeah. right? Uh, they don't have that anymore. So it's like, it's called secret techniques and your main Pokemon, I'm using Eevee right now. So Eevee takes care of like cut and like right. all that stuff. So you automatically, you don't have to get gain it you anymore? You have to gain it. Oh, okay. Um, but it's, it doesn't <coughs> take up an HM's oh, an attack okay. slot. Um, that's been quite helpful because like cut is really crap. Yeah. Um, so that's good. But yeah. Are like are, are the is the combat the same as yes. like the previous ones? Yeah. Exactly the yeah. same. Yeah. Same. Yeah. I mean they have like upgraded like updated moves and stuff like that. But right. like by and large the like, battle system is the same. Like the weakness stuff is, is pretty much the same. Like they didn't change like completely, which is kind of what I like about it. Um, it's, it's a lot more accessible now and. It's like the 3D element is cool. It like looks great. Sounds great. So I think I think it's a good segue for yeah. like Pokemon Go players or like yeah. newcomers, like kids, yeah. to get into the whole Pokemon thing. It's more casual. It's way meant, more casual. It's meant but for kids too. Yeah, like but actually, all the dialogue if, and all that if stuff you play simple. like the newer versions, like I think all the 3DS ones, like the um, the X and Y, and then Sun and Moon, they're actually really easy already. Like I, I mm. I've been playing X again. And because Let's Go came out, and I just kind of wanted to like revisit. And then what happened is it's just so easy compared to the older games. Yeah, I think it's just and all just games in general are so much more yeah. easy and casual now. Like people yeah. don't want to put in that much effort. I have yet to try out like the sort of Pokemon Let's Go plus Pokemon. <coughs> yeah, that link. Um, I've heard that like, you can port in your, your, your Pokemon from, from there's a, Pokemon there's a, Go. There's a, there's a, I think there's a Pokemon that you can only get on Pokemon Go if you play Let's Go. I forgot the name of that. Uh, I, don't know. Okay. I, I know that if you buy the, the, the Pokeball controller, uh, then it comes with the Mew. Uh, um, 
<clears throat> but yeah. Yeah. That's so my pick. Yeah. My first pick. I was, I was, I was for the holiday games. I was actually gonna buy it like for the co-op because yeah. it comes to co-op, right? Yeah, yeah. I was gonna play with my wife. Yeah, yeah. People, like, She likes Pokemon as well. But then, like, it turns out the co-op isn't actually the co-op that we wanted. Like, the second player kind of just kind of is just such a jump in to play for yeah, a while. Yeah, you yeah. can't really save progress yeah, and yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So that was kind of disappointing. Yeah. The original game was designed more as like a solo playthrough. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. It would have been cool to add in like, like more integrated like multiplayer yeah, stuff, or, especially or, for like family. Or at least just let like, like player two have their own Pokemon yeah, party, yeah, right? Yeah, like yeah, yeah, it's yeah. a simple thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so. So I've been playing a bit more action or again, I've been playing Call of Duty Blackout, yeah. mainly the, Black, the Blackout, the Battle Royale version um, and Red Dead Redemption. Cool. Um, Blackout, you, none of you play Call of Duty. I played the old ones. Oh, so so I mean, then I touched it, but like not. Yeah, so so Call of Duty, like since maybe like Modern Warfare, Modern Warfare Two, I yeah. think it's been been kind of going downhill. <coughs> yep. But after PUBG, Player Unknown Battlegrounds came out, like they started to do about the the Battle Royale version. Like I think because of that version, like this is probably one of the best Call of Duty series mm-hmm. since since the Modern Warfare series. Like. A long, long time. But ago. do you think it's like it's worth the ticket price for just a multiplayer game? Uh, oh, is it just because, about it? Yeah, because Black yeah, Ops. Yeah, there's no there's no single player. Yeah, okay, because okay. Call of Duty was always about well, it was like it's two sided. Right? It's always about having this really big single player campaign, campaign yeah. and then having a really solid multiplayer that you can play for like a long yeah, time. Yeah. Um, and then prestiging and all that stuff. Yeah. But but then over the years, I think people kind of like. There's still people that obviously want the single player. <coughs> they yeah. also complain that this one doesn't have single player. Yeah. But I think majority of people buy it for the multiplayer. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I don't think I think it's fine. They don't have a they don't have a single player. Yeah. Well, at, at least at least for me, because I played a lot of single player campaigns before. It's, mm-hmm. it's so heavily scripted. Yeah. yeah. So. Is just mindless shooting most of the time. Yeah, is there, is there local multiplayer or is it only online? Uh, it's own. It's only online. I think I don't think right. there's local player. Yeah, I don't think there's yeah. split, split screen anymore. Yeah, I see. Like a lot of games don't have split screen anymore. Mm. Yeah, yeah. But I, I played a lot of PUBG. I played over a thousand hours of PUBG. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> nice. I, I, I would say, I would say like, after playing um, uh, Battle uh, uh, Blackout since it came out. I would say this is significantly better than PUBG, mm. um, just in terms of graphics, um, optimization, and the amount of things you can do. Because PUBG is yes, it's more realistic, but um, that's a limitation, right? Mm. They can only add uh, new guns and new maps to it. So every so once you get used to the gun, a lot of the games kind of feel the same. They don't really, they haven't been adding much to the game. Um, we compared to like Fortnite, even though I don't like Fortnite myself, yeah. they they add a lot of skins and like yeah, a yeah. lot of different oh, yeah, events lot of, and yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. So Thanos. Yeah, th- uh, yeah, yeah, Thanos. So, so, they, so, so people get hype like once yeah. in a while for a, for a new event, right? They freshen it up like once in a yeah, while. PUBG's yeah, PUBG has been kind of like stale for yeah. like a long time. Yeah. Um, but because Blackout, apart from like the general shooting, you have like you have like perks. Um, you also have skins. Um, even though they only have one map right now, a lot of the games, especially since it's a lot faster. Um, it's less frust- a lot less frustrating to play. Like PUBG, it got to a point where it's very frustrating to play mm-hmm. for me, and that's kind of the main of, one of the main reasons. So you kind of switched PUBG. over to Blackout mostly now. I have I haven't touched PUBG in a long time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, since Blackout came out. Okay. But yeah, if you like battle rally, if like shooting games, I highly recommend the the Call, be taking Call of Duty Blackout. Most of your holiday season now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But you also mentioned mentioned Red Dead Redemption. Red Dead, right? yeah. And so you, you play so that? Yeah, I'm right? playing playing that right now. Cool. Yeah. So I think it's a very detailed game. Um, there are a lot of problems with the controls. I, I really, <laughs> really hate. Like, I like. I mean, we talked about. You, this have you accidentally time. punched your horse yet? You punched my horse. Uh, <laughs> shot a guy. <laughs> killed an NPC. Like, nice. It's just all what, over uh, the place. What platform are you playing on? Uh, PS4 Pro. Yeah, PS4. Okay. Yeah. Pro? No Pro. No Pro. How's how's the framing on No Pro? Uh, when when it gets like foggy, when yeah. you go into town, sometimes there's there's frame rate drops. Frame rate, yeah, um, yeah. <laughs> PS4 but, Pro but, is yeah. quite <laughs> solid. Other, otherwise, it's okay. I have I've only experienced it in town during foggy areas, like oh, foggy nice. weather. Um, but that's then, yeah. the frame rate is actually quite good for the graphics. Mm. It, lo- it looks pretty damn good, like for a non PC game. 
Like I can't imagine if it when if it comes up for PC, like it'll be it's, crazy. It's gonna be amazing. Like they'll have that jump like from GTA Five yeah, to yeah, the yeah, yeah, to PC yeah. version. Yeah, that was that was really amazing too. Yeah, they, added, they added dogs to that game, I think. Did they? The yeah, uh, because they, uh, they came out on the PS3, right, and then they ported it to the newer the newer consoles, the yeah. ne- this, this generation console, and then <coughs> they had it for the PC as well, and then they added like a bunch of stuff to the game that yeah. they couldn't add in the original. Yeah. Imagine if you could accidentally punch your dog. That would be so sad. Like if you would have people like, they're like actually, filming that. No, they're like, actually dogs in all bed dead. I'm gonna try it next time. <laughs> like it probably why though? <laughs> just to see if it can happen. No, like there's so many details in the game. Uh-huh. There's a, there's so many times where like they're telling me to do one thing. I'm just trying out another thing, and they actually scripted it in. Like I think that's part of the reason why it makes the game like so great. Yeah. Did you did you fight the bear? Did you have the bear? Game. Oh, I'm way past that. That would be the beginning bear? Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. Uh, the yeah, 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 the beginning bear. bear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm way past that, man. <laughs> no, but like, did you choose to hunt it? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I stayed and hunted. Did you die? I didn't die, though. Ah. Uh, no. I don't know. <laughs> Spoiler alert. <laughs> <laughs> but like, the last time I was ta- telling you, um, there's these um, there's shows in these random towns, um, right? Like, there's no quest. You can just go there. It's like, it's like a theater, right? So you go in, you see like, it's like a variety show, you pay a ticket and then you actually go into a theater, you sit down and then there's actually a show going on, right? Um, I can't remember which one, I think it's St. Saint, Saint Dennis or something. Um, uh, the first act was a magic show. So it's like a magician um, with an assistant shooting a bullet and he's catching it in his teeth. So he does that and then there's somebody in the crowd saying, this is like, a, this is like baloney, this is a hoax. So he's like, no, no, no. I invite anybody to come up with their own firearm and shoot me, right? And then I'll catch the bullet. So obviously as a player, you'll stand up, yeah. take a revolver, and he'll be like, take your best shot, right? So I'm like, if I shoot him in the face, he's gonna catch it. So I'm gonna shoot him in the nuts. <laughs> <laughs> right? So I shot him in the nuts, and then they scripted that in. Like, he's like, I can't catch him. I don't of have course teeth. they scripted like, that in. I don't have That's teeth the there. most predictable like, I don't thing. have teeth there or something, and then he gets dragged off the stage. <laughs> Like, I, I'm actually kind of sad I didn't save it beforehand because uh-huh. I want to try shooting his assistant next. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nice. Like, yeah, that game, that game is so detailed. Like, they programmed so many of these things. Like, they thought of everything. Yeah. Yeah, but then, like, as Jeremy said, the only th- gripe I have... Well, actually, this one of the gripes I have, like, is the controls. It yeah. takes a lot getting I've played, like, 20, 30, 30 hours right now. Like, it's still not a lot. Yeah, I'm still I'm st- I'm still randomly shooting people, like just randomly unloading my firearm in the yeah. air. Yeah. Like the time that will take you to get used to any other game's controls does not get you used to this like this yeah. like this game's controls. It's like, yeah. so hard to get used to. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Probably oh, and one one grab is the I, I I told Jeremy before you can't drop weapons in the game. Oh yeah. I, I don't yeah. know why they didn't make that an option type of game. You can't sell any weapons you have. Like when you pick up, if you see a weapon on the ground, you pick it up, right? You see your weapon on the floor. You go back to your horse and suddenly it's like teleported into your saddlebag. So it's like super weird. Uh-huh. So like right now I have like eight weapons and like every time I switch a weapon instead of in the beginning, you have like three and you just like rotate them. I'm like going through like eight weapons trying to yeah. find the right one. It's just, it's just annoying. I, I, I think they need like to pass. Like minor stuff. Okay. It's yeah. minor, but it's quite pretty sure, annoying. Sure. Yeah, yeah they definitely need to the patch that, yeah. yeah. And I think my problem is with a lot of those context sensitive uh, buttons. Mm-hmm. Like, if you're ne- next to something, you want to pick it up, you have to, like, really oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. be facing that Especially thing. Especially uh, when you're opening chests, right? Yeah. And you have a bunch of items in, inside the chest. Say <coughs> you pick up something, and then your next item, your inventory is full of that item, so you can't pick it up. But there's another item inside, right? So you have to kind of, like, move your uh-huh. joystick, so you're kind of, like, just pointing to the little bit to the side so you can look at the other item. Yeah. Right, I have that I have that issue too playing Pokemon Let's Go because you know how like in, on your phone like when you play Pokemon Go it's just like you, you swipe and, and like you, you throw the ball out and all that yeah. stuff. It's fine when you play with the Joy Con like detached and, yeah. and you're playing it with, with yeah. the T V like you just point and, yeah. and like yeah. set the level and all that. But when you play with the switch, like portable, yeah. you have to like with the Pokemon jumps like yeah. left and right. So you have to like like sort of uh, pivot towards that but too. Isn't there a touch control? Not that I know of. So, oh, so you have to like physically yeah, you have to like move it like this, oh, and like it's weird. really hard to aim. Right. Um, so that takes takes a takes you know a bit away from getting used to. Yeah. In the spirit of holiday games. Mm. Yeah. Are you gonna get Smash? Are you gonna Smash? I'm definitely gonna get Smash. Yeah. I'm gonna kick her ass. 
<laughs> I'm not that good. We should do a live play, stream. No, I'm, I'm so live, bad. Li- I'm live so streaming bad. Yeah, yeah. Smash. Episode two is just gonna be like and then, me getting my ass no, kicked. Everybody, everybody in the comments, is like, what the hell are you guys doing? <laughs> yeah. Jumping around, not doing yeah. anything. Yeah. You, uh, you, you two are like going kick. down. Yeah. <laughs> you are going. Oh yeah. my god. Jumping I'm not that good, but you, you two. I'm really bad at Smash. Yeah, I'm, I'm terrible at Smash. I am pretty terrible. I'm still gonna get it. Yeah. Just. It's one of the because. few games where I'm, I'm pretty bad at it. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of the many games I'm pretty bad at. So hyped for this one though, that they have everybody in it. Yeah. Everybody. How many fighters? Wait, let me let me let me look it up. Why are you looking uh, that up? I'm going to do man. a shout out if I can open this for another holiday game, which is a board game. Board game. Board game. Of course. This one is called Tokyo Series, and it was just. Um, it was just launched on Kickstarter. I think the Kickstarter campaign was earlier this year, or maybe like late last year, or something like that. Um, but yeah, it's uh, it's a three part sort of. I, I think the designer Jordan Draper. Uh, well, I don't want to show the cover. Yeah, yeah. Want, wanted to do like a, a three, like three part series. This is uh, this is part one, and it comes with three. Oh, games. they're not cards. They're like no. So what's cool about this is like they have three things, right? Um, this one is Jutaku, which is I think about like residential buildings and all that stuff. Um, Tokyo Metro like, is about obviously yeah, the metro like system, right? Um, and then Jido Han, Jido Han Baiki is like uh, vending machines. Uh-huh. So it actually does come with like an actual vending machine inside. Oh, cool. Yeah. Oh, it has and little money too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and what's really cool and, and why I, I probably give this a, a great shout out for like the uh, holiday game oh, is because they have all these components oh. and it's set up for like multiple mini games that you can play. Oh. So they have in, inside the rule book, they have like multiple options. Is this like one full set or three sets? This is one full set, which is part one of like the Tokyo series. Oh, okay. um, I think the Metro game, I haven't tried it yet, but this is more of like the, like the strategic yeah. game within the series. But these two like other ones are like more set up for mini games. Oh. So oh, hey, 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 press the button. Yeah, yeah, it's the actual press button. <laughs> but yeah, I think this this would be a really oh, cool. this this would be really cool um, for like families to play together and, and all that. How, stuff. Does it cost? How do you play this? Uh, so in in here there are like multiple rules for the same oh, like, okay. setup within the box. So that I, th- I think applies to both Johan Mikey the the vending machine one and Jutaku, and then um, Metro has like one strategy game setup. Um, so I haven't really dived into it yet. Uh, because I just got this like a couple weeks ago, but where, where can you buy it? Uh, I think so. This was on Kickstarter. I'm not sure if they have like a e-commerce page or something. If there is, I'll, I'll include it in the link uh, below. Um, but yeah, pretty cool stuff. There's a QR code. Yeah, beep it. Beep it through the video. <laughs> yeah, <through> the video. <laughs> but yeah, that's also that would beep. be like my main board game pick um, <clears throat> for for the holiday cool. season. Yeah, right. interesting. Interesting choice. Very interesting. So, did you look at, so did you yeah, look 65 there? fighters wow. in... 65? Yeah, 65. That's a lot. You're 65. Gonna, man, we're going to have to spend so much time yeah. unlocking those. Yeah, there's going to be this a whole new mode for unlocking things. It's going to be similar to the... Well, it's rumored to be say be similar to the, the Wii version. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So it's like a I, don't, I don't think I ever played the Wii version. It, um, it has like a single player campaign called the Deep Space Emissary. Deep Space Emissary. Yeah. Okay. And then, is it called Deep Space? It's something, something, something Emissary. And then, basically, it's like a single player platformer, but you have to like fight like in Smash Bros. I think I was pretty much exclusive, like uh, like Mario Kart for, for, for the Wii. Wii. I see. So yeah, you were really competitive for. I was Mario super. Kart, yeah. I was super competitive. We can live stream Mario Kart as well. We can. Yeah. But we can play Mario Kart like on the Switch. We'll kick your Jeremy's gonna kick, kick our kick asses, your asses again. In, in in the newest Mario Kart. <coughs> so going down. I'm gonna, I'm gonna practice. You, you <laughs> go, go, go practice that. all you want. You know what? Practice. Go practice we'll all you, you want. That. Yep. We'll practice and we'll kick his ass. A few moments later. Um, as we were saying, oh, we were, were saying that. We're, we were kick, saying we're gonna kick Jeremy's ass. Yes, we are. Uh, and we're going to film ourselves doing it. We are going to Bring film ourselves on. doing it. And Bring if we on. fail, we're just going to say the camera got cut off again. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of which, we are investing in new stuff. Boom. Is this made for podcasts? 
It's made for it's, oh, it's called, I think it's made for streaming. It's made for streaming, streaming but it's, it's pretty. Yeah, streaming. we just couldn't get this to work this time, so yeah. we're using our yeah. As usual, original we have technical difficulties every yes, single time. As usual, yeah. Uh, but we're going to invest in some new, ish, new, new, uh, new, 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 ish, new ish equipment. So you next time we will see this big. Gonna put it here to mic to sound prof look professional. Yeah, yeah. it's it's, wire it's wireless. Oh. <laughs> it's not. It's not. <laughs> we'll edit it out. <laughs> uh, but yes, we will have hopefully the upgraded thing. Yeah, so next we, don't, time. we don't have these little dangly. Yeah, a little dangly. Anymore. Oh, it's, 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 it's right here. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, so we'll be back talking about who knows what. Uh, if you have things that you want to. Hear us talk about mainly irrelevant, yeah, irrelevant, 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 irrelevant stuff. Irrelevant we can't talk stuff. about relevant stuff. It's, yes. It has to be in the past. <laughs> yes. Yeah. All right. We'll see you in the in next episode one. two of Mainly Irrelevant. Bye. Bye.